Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. So, uh, this is a game I'm going to play through as well, in addition to City Skylines. Uh, but before we jump in here, uh, not a farmer, never played Farming Simulator 22. So how did I get here? Uh, simple enough, uh, a colleague of mine at the day job uh, was talking about this, and... Like, okay, cool, I kind of seen it around. And then suspiciously, uh, YouTube was uh, uh, showing me some content creators. And I kind of like, you know what? This is a, looks like a chill game. I think I'm going to enjoy this. And hopefully I don't eat my words about, uh, pardon the pun, as to how chill this game might be. So, as mentioned, I've never played Farming Simulator 22 before. I'm a complete noob. I have just poked into the game to make sure I got some mods and some settings right. Um, but, uh, this is my first playthrough, so, uh, come along and join me, and, uh, let's see how this goes. So, we are going to do the new farmer, uh, you know, based on the tips and advice that I've seen, um, given where I'm at, uh, this is probably the place to start, because it, my understanding gives me a lot more, like, more money and some more, uh, pieces of equipment to start with, so I, I think that is good. We will play the Elm Creek map. It is apparently the best for noobs out of the three base game maps. Um, I do see some challenges playing with it, uh, as we'll, we'll probably see as we get started here. But uh, we'll jump in. Uh, don't want that mod. Uh, so let's get going. So as mentioned, I had poked around in the game before. Uh, so I did create this uh, handsome looking uh, fellow here. Um, so let's, uh, get started. So we will play with the short guided tour on. So this is to help me and, you know, maybe anyone else who is new to farming simulator to get, um, some tips as well as we join. So we'll do that. Uh, okay. So, uh, large blue indicator indicates where, okay. Uh, so we will hit that. Uh, nine brings up the map. We can rotate through it. I think we can see the train going through there. Kind of see where we're at there with the big explanation point. Uh, and we'll come along here. Come up to here. So got it. Tour. We need to do our first wheat harvest. Um, so we'll get in the combine, the harvester here. Uh, we'll hop in. So we need to attach, uh, I think this is called a header. So we'll attach that. Need to un, okay, click. We will unfold the harvester. It's like a little mini transformer here. We're gonna lower the header, hit V, and we will accelerate. So very similar to walking, same key. So we are, I am using, uh, keyboard and mouse um, so we'll drive up here I th think it's gonna ask me to do something here as well it's gonna ask me to hire a worker a helper which I think we'll do in a moment but I do want to get uh, practice uh, driving the harvester so as I was beginning to say I'm on the keyboard and mouse uh, based on some research, I see a lot of people tend to use a steering wheel and gas pedals um, or potentially double joysticks. I, I do have an Xbox One controller, but um, if you have any tips or advice, uh, as you can see, I'm jumping on the other field. And my driving skills are uh, leave a lot to be desired. So I have crop destruction on. So obviously, uh, from my understanding, hopping in the field is a big no-no. Um, so if you have any tips, tricks, and maybe just settings, at least while I'm using keyboard and mouse to get better control, or um, you know whether an Xbox One controller would work, you know, or you know an affordable investment into a steering wheel and a pedal combo. Please leave a comment below um, because my driving, I am not, uh, I don't play any racing games, so, um, I, you know, so th this is new to me. Um, 
So we'll come along here. So besides the uh, control or the uh, steering, one of the things um, I think I'm going to be challenged with, so with the keyboard, at least as my understanding how the, the things work, is speed. So it's one thing about the control. So this 10 kilometers per hour, yes, I'm Canadian, so uh, A, we will, I'm in uh, KPH and not miles per hour. Um, but, you know, 10 kilometers per hour, this field, um, you know, I think is fine. But, um, you know, when I did take out my pickup truck and even another tractor at, uh, at a higher speed, uh, I definitely found it much more difficult to control. Um, and maybe I should clarify too, part of that is I want to go a little slower, but just with the keyboard, uh, it's really holding down the W or, or not, right? It's... Um, there's no easy middle ground. So any any thoughts there, tips? Happy to hear them. So we're booting along. I think uh, we will hire that worker. Uh, as soon as we get to the end of the field, basically, I want to make sure I get this piece. And we will hire the worker. Oh, it thinks we're done for some reason, which we're not for sure. Okay, so we'll get through this. We will come back up. We will start another swath. Uh, well, back that baby up. We definitely want to go a little left. And now you can see how bad my driving is. Um, so we will hire a worker. We'll hop out. Uh, get uh, covered with some stuff. But let's head over. Head to the light. To the light. So what's this task over here? Oops. Uh, went a little too fast. But I think it's... Uh, from my recollection is we're going to hop in here we need to cultivate this field attach the weight in front so I think we need to switch um, so I hit G to the next tool which is the cultivator we'll lower the cultivator so you'll kind of see what I mean here. So we're going to easily jump up to 15. Like, and I can, yeah, holding down is 15. So we can hire a worker, but once again, I need to get some practice with uh, driving the machines. And you can see with the cultivator up, like it's 30 some kilometers an hour, so double the speed. Kind of go around the outside of the field, go up and down. So this is where, um, even at 15, now it's a small, really small field. As you can see, it's small like the first field that we harvested. So we're definitely going to have to look at a few things, including trying to expand these fields a little bit maybe. Um, but I think early on, um, and probably as I speed along here, probably even next episode to get a, uh, at least one additional field, we're going to have to look at, um, our money. So we're at just under a hundred thousand dollars, um, and that money is currently being spent on a worker uh, that is using the combine. So obviously I could go in and take over from uh, the AI, but uh, we're going to try to do a few fields here, get the 
three or four tasks it wants me to do under the guided tour. Let me change the camera there. So this is a John Deere tractor. You know what? I'm not a fan of the field of view. Um, but uh, John Deere, as my understanding, is a popular brand here. But uh, not a farmer, so uh, I don't know how popular this model is versus others. Um, and whether there's any, uh, what are the benefits of the same type of tractors? I, I think most of it's just luck. I know there's eventually getting to some horsepowers and how much something can tow and, you know, maybe how narrow something is for when you get to some of the olive fields and grape fields, or the vineyards, I should say. Yeah, I wish I could find a way to kind of slow things down just a tad when I'm booting around. But uh, you know what? Uh, driving a little better than I thought. Oh, we missed part of that field, so we'll have to come back and get that. So I think we'll just, oops, as I do exactly what I don't want to do. There we go, all the way to the end. I'm not sure um, as well. So if I just leave the cultivator down, I do know it's not um, it's not uh, cultivating the non-field part. But I don't know if it. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I go all the way to the end here. I I don't know if it's. Uh, getting damaged so like if I'm leaving it down here going along this road looking at the orange bar there where the maintenance bar doesn't appear to be but uh, if anybody knows let me know very much appreciate it So I do have, uh, within the generations of, of my uh, ancestry, uh, farmers, uh, but nothing direct uh, in any recent thing in terms of my mom or, or dad um, and their grandparents, or their parents. So maybe uh, my great-grandparents that I'm not 100% sure of. Yeah. Before we get further, let's see if we can grab this little piece because we're going to need every little bit of oh come on now this is my OCD kicking in right now um, did we get it did we get it or is this just like a glitch of it not okay we got it got that little bit so however my grandfather uh, did work in the mines that I do know um I have a feeling my great-grandfather um, and that part of the family. I'd have to go back and look through all the family history stuff. Um, we're farmers. Uh, and I know some were still actively farming up to a little bit from, you know, the extended family. Um, but never, never uh, worked a farm at all. Guaranteed that. That is not me. Um was not the path, the career path I took. But, you know, this is fun, actually. It's, uh, you know, just driving a tractor. It, um, now, I get it. This is, in real life, a lot of hard work. A lot of risk there, because you're relying on Mother Nature for a lot of things. A lot of... Uh, and I would say a uh, better driving skill than me, but, you know... I think this is easier in real life, at least from this probably doing uh, the cultivating work I'm currently doing. So let's uh, hire a worker so we can tab to another vehicle. So there's this gentleman, he can take care of things. So we are going to tab over here. 
So we'll hop out, see what the guided tour says. So this field's been cultivated, uh, and we need to sow it, which is uh, seeding this, obviously. So we're going to hop back in the tractor. Um, we're good. We need to attach the cedar. Oh, sorry, that's the weight. Attach the cedar. So what it's telling us here, uh, this time of year, we can only uh, basically uh, sow canola. So we'll also have to potentially look at that later for the, the other two fields. Um, so let's come in. Okay, so we're going to change it to canola, which, uh, yeah, check there. It is canola. We can lower it. Now, before we go forward, uh, I do just want to jump here. Yeah, so this is the crop calendar. I do have seasonal crops on, even though it was recommended not to for a beginner. But you know what? Um, you know, well, I think we're at least up to this this challenge. So um, we can sow canola this month. Okay, we have two other fields. We could potentially uh, sow wheat and or barley next month. Uh, so we'll think about it. Not something we have to make a decision uh, this episode. But uh, oh, need to unfold it. Everything needs to transform. Okay. Let's unfold it. Turn the cedar on. So let's just get a little closer to the edge and make sure we're getting as much of this as we can. So it wants us to switch to the next uh, tractor, but we're going to keep on seeding for a bit. Uh, although I think this one yeah, this, this is the one I'm most worried about. As you can see, as I nervously drive here. And the reason why I'm worried about this one... I see a little uh, shifter there. I think that was going. Um, is making sure we actually um, seed every part of the field. You know, which obviously the uh, AI will do a good job of, or probably at least a better job. So we're going to back up. A lot of shift in there, dude. Uh, so we're going to come up to this edge of the field. So like, I want to make sure I get every piece of this. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank goodness there's not a sticker of if you have a problem with my driving call 1-800, um, you know, whatever whatever number there to call the company. Uh, so we need to lower the cedar. It is on. I think that's pretty good. So we will Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Okay, we got a straight line, that is good. Once again we'll kinda of just come over. Oh boy, this guy's fence is really close. Um so I guess in some ways it's good all this extra grass is here and not the field, but it also means less for me to sow and harvest and make money from. Okay, how are we doing here? Just back up a bit. Okay, we're good. Cedar's down. Okay, not bad. Uh, I'm not going to win any awards, uh, I think, for my driving. Now this John Deere definitely has a better 
uh, field of view, I, I think, at least going straight. So we'll go all the way up here, back things up. So not bad. Oh, come on. Now, do all uh, tractors kind of shift this slow? At, uh, so I do have it. Uh, I'm not doing the shifting. The, uh, the AI slash computer is doing the shifting. Well, one challenge at a time. And for me right now, I don't want that. Okay, so with this, uh, I'm going to let the worker uh, do the rest here for now. Hey, dude. Thanks for the help. Very much appreciate it. Uh, we're going to tab to the next vehicle. So this, hop back out. Go to our prompt. So this is, we need to go to the harvester and remove the wheat that we harvested and put it in here. So, okay. So let's hop back in, attach trailer. So we need to go on the left hand side so it will pipe in. It says it'll do it automatically. So let's let's try that. Um, but maybe it's thinking just based on how the guided tour is supposed to go and how fast I was supposed to jump that the worker was still there. So let's see. Um, so we remove the uh, Cover. So we can come on over here. I have a feeling it's not going to. Yeah, it's not. Oop, bang. So we will. Ooh. Oh. How do you. Okay, jackknifing things. I am not. Uh. Yeah. I, I've, I don't think in my life I've ever driven something with a trailer. So, any tips? So, like, I'm going straight back, but now it's beginning to jackknife. Oh. Huh. Let's circle around. So, real life, I avoid parallel parking. I avoid backing in. But never in my life so far have I had to worry about uh, anything with respect to a trailer. Okay, we're going to come into the combine here. We're going to have to extend this ourselves because as I thought, the worker's no longer here. So we'll just uh, fill this up. So when it's done... Okay, we're done now. So we will close the pipe. We're just going to move because I know we've got some more work to do. Let's move the uh, combine harvester over here. And there we go. Um, so I think, yeah, so we just follow the big green, uh, gr green beam of light. Uh, you know, what could go wrong over there? There's no aliens over there. We're in a nice, quiet, Midwest, uh, kind of U.S. Uh, farming town. No aliens uh, would be interested in being here. So we're going to boot along, probably on the correct side of the road. Uh, I know it's a simulation game, so I guess, but thankfully they don't simulate police and give out tickets for bad driving. Oh, I like this one, though. Like this, uh, this tractor... Uh, Pretty nice. Although, you know what? Thinking about it though, field of view. Um, you know, not loving that pipe right in there. Who designs these things? So I don't think that mirror actually... I don't think those mirrors are actually legit. But uh, anyways, we're booming along to the green light. No, it's a uh, nice uh, 
Nice little town. Nice little area. Like it. So we're off to a sell point. Um, you know, I, I don't think we're getting the best value for money at this point, but we're doing a little guided tour here at the beginning, so we'll complete it. We'll uh, make the game happy. As you can tell, that small field uh, only gave us half a wagon full of, of wheat here. Okay, so third person turning, a little more challenging than first. But we need practice. We need the practice because, oh, I guess the guy's finished. My goodness, we're in a tractor because I went off-road there. So $157 wage payment went out. Um, oh, cut the corner here. Hey, dude, please, yeah. Interesting, we got people walking around. I, I don't think that, uh, I think that's just for show. I do not think there's a way to interact with our neighbors here. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Alright, so it says go to the unloading station. Sounds good. Uh... So we can check the current prices. Now it will want us to unload it, but we'll come in. Uh, where are we here? There we go, wheat. Uh, we can get as much as 960 and as low as 818, um, which, you know, like I said, we're not at very good rates here. We're, we're some of the lowest prices, but we'll we'll do it for uh, this round here. Um, but to be honest, I'm not even sure where which one we're at. Um, oh, that's a sawmill. John's Farmers Johnson's Farmers Market. So if we come back down here, just for awareness, well, it's not the worst one, but at 819, 827 though, but we will tip this, because uh, the other thing is cash flow uh, is king here as well, I think, um, because we will need to buy a few things, uh, including here, we're going to have to... Um, Bale the straw. All right, so it wants us to go to the shop, which I think is the last part. We can cover the wagon here. I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, I do know there's like weather, rain, and snow. Uh, we saw that as. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, as part of the options. Uh, did that dude just spawn? Okay, we want to go this way. You know, I, I, I love the, like, so I live in a city. Um, but I do have this thing for small towns. Like, there's just the, that vibe. Um... You know, a little less hustle and bustle and all this stuff. You know, you got the white picket fences here. Some nice fields. You know, and I love landscapes. I love the outdoors. Um, so, you know, I, I do enjoy this. I, I think this is pretty cool here. But I think this is better in third person than first. Enjoy nature. Great advice. Uh, get out and enjoy nature. Going over a little creek here. Uh, that's nice. Nice little walking path next to it. You know, it's 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 funny when you're on the when I was on that second field doing the cultivation work. It, it felt like I was flying a mile a minute because of how small that that field is. Uh, meanwhile, I'm booting at at least twice the speed here, and. Uh, Feels like I'm going really slow. Um, 
that's fine. He came off of that off ramp and just hopped back on the on ramp, I think. Must have been a little lost. Alright, so we're coming in through uh, the main part of town here. What do we have here? We got a grocery store. Uh, oh, and we got a little bit of uh, going in the other lane. You can tell, uh, you know, that AI dude's got nerves of steel and was willing to play chicken with me. So there's our farm. Hello, farm. Uh, going by there, you know. I do love that burn, but I think we might sell it. Um, I walked around in it off uh, off this game, and I'm not sure it's going to be conducive. One, you can really tell how bad my driving is, and I don't think I'll have the skill to drive in tight places. But I don't think I can really fit much in there, really. It doesn't seem usable. Um... So I'm probably going to be looking at some open sheds or whatnot to uh, park and uh, organize my equipment. I think that's going to be a lot easier. So we're coming up on the store right along the main drag here. Or that I wish we started with that farm. That would be nice. Um, not just to make the money and all the equipment, but just a nice big farm to start. But hey, I don't mind a challenge. We can grow. We can grow our farm. We'll make We'll make a farming empire out of this. All right, so we come to a stop. There we go. Um, so we can press P. So we're at the end of the help. Good luck. Thank you, guided tour. I feel like I'm an expert. No, I don't feel like an expert farmer yet. So um, so we have the vehicles. Uh, what do we have here? So those are the vehicles. We can buy various tools, which we are going to have to look at a baler. Some objects, uh, so we want to sell our bales, not uh, buy any. Packs. Well, this is good. This is definitely good for me. So it's like, if you know nothing, enter me. Here's all the stuff we need for grain. That's that's pretty good. Equipment. Okay. Uh, some cool looking machines. This looks like the Scorpion from Spider-Man. Can harvest various crop types. Um, I wish I could click on these and it tell me, but these aren't the ones that we're using, even though that's a great sale price. Uh, ooh, half off manure. Okay, so we're not going to have manure for a long time. This is a plow. This we might buy so we can expand our fields. It's a great price. Uh, we'll double check we don't own any plows. This isn't a cultivator. So this is... Yeah, you can create new fields with this. So, which I don't think you can do with the cultivator. Yeah, so, and this is a cultivator, um, which prepares the fields. So, this might be a bigger, better one that allows us to go faster. But that being said, right now we have small fields. And I think we need to look at our cash. Um, oh, perfect. Here's what we own. So we own these three medium tractors. We might want to look at selling uh, one of these to get some cash. So if you have any thoughts on some of this equipment, I, I sh might want to look at selling. You know, I did see some tips about that. Uh, I probably guess we keep at least two tractors. So maybe the stronger, let's have a look, 175, 100. So maybe this John Deere, the 470, 55, it's got more horsepower. Um, you know, the this Massey Ferguson's a little less powerful. Oh, this is a power shift. So maybe that's, this is the one that was kind of struggling as well. But, let me know um, if you've got thoughts. So we haven't leased anything. And this is where we can do some stuff, like maybe sell our barn and whatnot. Uh, what's the farmland do? Um, oh, is this where we can buy our, our fields, I guess? It jumps to a different screen. Okay, perfect. So 
we will come in and we need to buy a baler. So if we can find our balers. There we go, bale loaders. No, these are bale loaders, sorry. Uh, I heard about these. I think these like can do some, makes it a lot easier to collect the bales. But for now, we'll just pick them up by hand. We will need a trailer, but I think we'll look at a different one. That's $20,000. So let's come back out. Ah, there we go, right next to it, balers. So I think some of these other ones would be really nice, but we don't have the cash and we have such a small field. Um, we're gonna take this baler to turn the loose uh, straw hay. Um, once again, not a farmer, I'm not sure what's on the field, but I understand, I think we need one of these. So combinations, what's this? Well, that's a bale loader we could get, but no, we're not, we're not doing that. Oh, please don't buy. Follow the keys very, very, very carefully. Okay, so we're gonna buy this one. So we can collect the uh, the loose straw or hay. Um, yeah, although we could lease it for $1,100. No, I think we'll buy. I think we'll get uh, value out of this. So we're gonna buy this baler. We're at the shop, so let's get out of this. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me, uh, uh, let me, oh, mistakes are being made. I definitely need to figure out how to uh, back up with something. All right, so we will unhook that here. So this is probably the last thing we will do in this particular episode. And I don't mean poorly back into the baler to pick it up. We'll, we'll do the baling. And we will look to see if we should sell the bales this, this month. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Get on the right side of the road. Um, whether we should sell the bales this month and get the cash, which I'm actually leaning towards, even though this might be better to hold on to. I wanna buy at least one field. We'll look at also um, contracts that we might do next time. We're gonna, I think we're gonna stay in August. Uh, I've got this, I think, set to one day uh, a month, which I think is fine for me. Uh, maybe as things get busier, we'll, we'll expand this out beyond one day. Um, but I think one day per month is, is good. We're almost halfway through the day, so we can, I think we can get more done, like, because we've had to do a lot of driving around, um, but I think we can kind of stay close for this, uh, next time. So let's see, we need to unfold the baler, hit X, and we need to lower the pickup. And then I think we oh need to turn the baler on. That's good. Good idea. And we need to learn how to drive better. So we'll just come up and down the swaths here. Have a quick look. All right, that's working. That's good news. And I think we'll see it, uh, yeah, 40, 50, counting the percentage there. So as you can tell, we're not, these are very small bales. So we're lucky to get, oh, two, two and a half. And I, and I didn't miss some bits. Um, but two and a half per, so, you know, we'll get some. So let me uh, just quickly finish baling this field.
Okay, so we are just going to finish uh, collecting uh, some last little bits here. Um, we're at 11% of a final bale here. Not sure whether or not we'll actually get a full one. But my understanding um, that uh, the baler will retain what's in here. And from a game mechanics point of view, um, you know, right now we're at 20%. And if I go to bail something else, it'll still count it um, towards that next bail. So the last little bit, I think, is over here. And so we will just finish this little bit. And there we go. Um, I'm so I will turn the baler off, lift the pickup. Okay, uh, I guess we can unload the baler. I don't know if that will get rid of that last little bale or just the one that's uh, okay, so it'll only get rid of the completed bales. Perfect, okay, good, good, good. Um, so we're going to come along and we will just, I think, park things here for now. So I think we can have a look at uh, how many bales that I actually made. I think there's some stats I remember kind of seeing somewhere. Um, so I think maybe this is straw. Yeah, I think this is straw. So price is pretty bad. So I think we'll hold off on selling it, but we'll think about it. Um, oh, we've got some great contracts. This fertilizing contract, I think it's gonna make us some good money. Um, and we could think about buying a fertilizer. Okay, this is a debate. Uh, we'll think about it, but uh, one fertilizing contract is currently available. I don't know if those reset. So, but we did produce 24 small bales, so not bad, not bad. So, uh, we'll think about selling them, uh, but next episode, we got to look at maybe buying one of the neighboring fields, maybe two, maybe we'll take out a small loan, uh, but thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed my first foray into Farming Simulator 22. It's very much appreciated. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.